back the next day. Got kind of dark last evening when I was wrapping this project up. I'll do a walk around now and show you. I didn't have time to get more video yesterday. I had the excavator here to help clean up some concrete garbage, dig out some soft spots in the driveway, pack them full of concrete. Now I'm back to bring the excavator out here. Can you see? Oh yeah, a little bit. That's the after, after massive Bertha. <laughs> Man, I like that machine. I was running one of the older ones this morning. <whistles> Worthless heap of garbage. He's gonna need another load of shale in here sometime, come spring probably, once all this breaks up and settles down. He's gonna have a puddle right there. Supposed to all drain over in the box, but we're done spending money, he says, for a little bit. So, alrighty, yeah, yes sir. We shall just kind of leave it like this. That'll be plenty good for what he wants to do with it. I see his turnaround does work. Put a little turnaround in here for him so as he can drive down here with a feed mixer and just haul straight up through there. That's a nice little barn. Hey, ladies, how do you like your new home, huh? A tiny little bit of shale in here. I, this is where we buried the concrete crap in off this edge and then I tried to smear out the the mud as best as I could last evening it's pretty it's pretty cakey shit but hey that'll 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 work till come spring till he can seed it turn it into pasture let the let the hummies out on it heffalers Yep, there it all is. He will be happy with that. He will be happy with that. That is quite a massive change from before, that's, that's for sure. Well, Bertha should be warmed up. I gotta go. Just got a load of slate up front he once pushed out and then I got to move out to the next job a backfill to do that uh, will happen tomorrow <laughs>